Hey, Yori back, Big Bloods Barbecue. Dude, today we got a couple big old dog rib eyes there. I mean, that is a good looking tender piece of meat. I got a little excited, so I got them out a little early, got them seasoned up. All that is just rubbed a little bit of butter on there, melted butter, and then I hit it with some kneaders. I had a little pepper to that. I like mine a little more peppery, so I just took that kneaders, uh, butter, salt deal, added a little pepper to that. So I hit just a little shot of those with some of that. We might do a little more just because we can, right? So a little shot of that on top of that butter, and then just a little Montreal steak seasoning. I like that stuff. And just hit a little shot of that too, we'll add just a little bit. So I did that to both sides. They've been sitting for about 45 minutes or so. We're gonna put them on the smoke. We're gonna reverse sear on these. So we're gonna smoke them about 250, let them get some good smoke in them on that smoker. And we'll smoke them for about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, you don't want to run them over 115. I want these nice, medium, rare. And then we'll throw them on that black stone and just sear them real quick. So we're going to smoke these for a minute, get a little smoke in them, and then do a nice reverse sear. We'll see you in a minute. All right, so those steaks are a little smoke. Uh, dude, they're just right, man. We're going to throw those on the flat grill now. Just sear those up. I'm going to lay down just a little bit of butter. And uh, they're just going to sear up for a second. Oh, I hear that little sizzle. There you go, lay that other one right there next to it. I about lost that one. Okay, so there you go. And then I'm just gonna stir these. Uh, throw a little butter on them, butter's your friend. That's the one I flip that, that's what's on the bottom. And I'm just gonna go about three minutes each side, uh, just enough to get a good sear. I don't want my temperature over about 130. Uh, they're about 118 right now, 117. Got some good smoke. So I'm gonna close that smoker. I'm gonna let those sear for a couple minutes. We'll get you in just a minute when we flip them. There's your rib ice. All right, just flip those steaks. Man, they look good. Take a look at those, Tiffany. Come look at that, that's, that's nice, dude. That's what we will. Got a little thermal pin, let's probe that. Oh, it feels pretty good to the probe. 118, 116. Oh, it's coming along nice. We're gonna let those sit 123. I'm gonna let them sit for just a minute. I don't want them over about 127, 128 for me. I, I like a nice, uh, you know, if it's not fighting back, you shouldn't eat it. You gotta have a fair fight anyway. On that little thermal pin, you can get one of those. Got that as a competition, so that was good. Uh, anyway, we're gonna let those ribeyes sit for a minute. Then we're gonna pull them off. Big thing with steaks, make sure you rest them before you put them on. Let that sit out for a while, 45 minutes, an hour, kind of come to room temperature. And then when you take them off, don't cut into them. Let them sit for a while. Let that juice get back into them. You don't have a lot better big old ribeye if you let that sit for a while. So we're gonna pull these off in just a minute, and then we're gonna let them sit for 15 minutes. And then we're gonna eat them like fat kids. It's gonna be good. See you in a minute. All right, they're sitting and rested for a little bit. Uh, they got up to 130, this one 131, the other one was kind of their rest time and then start dropping back down 128, 29. So maybe a couple degrees more than I like it, but that should be a perfect, you know, medium rare. It should be really good, medium, medium rare. As you probe them, kind of be careful too. Sometimes you'll probe and you'll get a little deep and you'll be like, oh man, it's 135, but you're down to the to the heat from the stove, from your plate. So if you hit a bone, uh, you know, if you're not deep enough and stuff. So as you probe, kind of hit a couple times if you're really going off that tamper. If you can kind of feel too, uh, I like that. Just you can feel how tender that goes in and stuff. But let's cut a hunk of this one. Like I said, this one might be a little more done than the other one, but look at that. we put a little butter on the rest. Oh, good Gandhi. That is, uh, that does not suck right there. That's perfect, dude. That is a great temperature, a good looking steak. I wish you were all here to sample it, but you're not, so I got to sacrifice. But I mean, look at that, just a good, good medium rare throughout. You get a good picture of that. I'm mean, looking at the juice, how that's held in. Very little juice on my plate. That's pretty well all butter on the plate. But all that juice has stayed inside. That's why it's important to rest that after. Make sure you rest that and let that sit for a minute. And uh, see how I cut as that peels apart? You can see how tender it is. That's just a good steak. Put a little extra sauce on there, a little butter. Butter's your friend. That's kind of a big bite, so I'm not going to be able to talk very much after. So subscribe, hit us up. Oh my heck, dude, that just runs down your throat. That is a juicy, juicy steak. Ridiculous. 
Put some butter on your steak, smoke it, reverse sear it. I'm drooling everywhere. Subscribe, hit us up. That's how to cook a ribeye. That thing's money. We'll see you next time.